Hey guys, what's going on? Today's my birthday, and I choose to spend it at the New Haven Museum. They have an Amistad exhibition, and uh, you know, I just wanted to share it with you guys. Again, this is the New Haven Museum, and uh, it's actually the Amistad exhibition. I'm sure you guys are familiar with Amistad. This is beautiful right here. It's all about enlightenment, my people. You guys know I'm deep into history. Again, this is the Amistad Museum. They have a lot of great stuff here. A lot, a lot of great stuff here. What's this? This is actually, okay. The magnificent printing of the massacre on board the schooner Amistad. You guys remember the movie? It was a great movie. What's this over here? I guess this is the, uh, Hmm, isn't that great? I know not everybody's gonna be into this, but it is what it is. I enjoy history. For those that don't know, Amistad was not just a movie, it was actually an actual event. And uh, I guess this is actually from the ship itself. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, look. This plate right here was actually on the, on the ship. And this is who? Simon, okay. I hope you guys enjoying it. And Miss Townsman. Mm. I'm putting it up so you guys could just stop and look at it whenever you want. Look at this chair. I believe this is a chair from the actual ship. Wow, isn't that great? History, my people. History is a beautiful thing. Remember, we are what we think. R.S. Baldwin's office. Oh, we all know who he was. There he goes right there, an actual photo. Look at the actual keys, isn't that fascinating? The actual keys. Wow, I love museums. And this is the what? Look. This is actually the keys to the New Haven Jail on Church Street. <laughs> the 1930s. This is wild. Look at the keys to Rikers Island. The Rikers Island of back in the days. <laughs> and this is the, uh, the hotel, how it looked like back then. This is fascinating. And here goes a painting of the actual ship. It says it right there, the Amistad. A painting of the actual ship. This is great. Knowledge really is great. Here's a painting of the fighting that was going on. How about this one? The death of Captain Ferry, the captain of the Amistad. Wow. July 1839. Hmm. Hmm. 
This is fascinating. I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying this. This is how much your boy has changed. Normally, I would spend my birthday at a club with girls and drinking and smoking. This is the new Charlie Rock LD, man. This is what your boy is into now. Look at this, huh? What do we have over here? Don't know what this is. What is it? The, uh... The African leader speaks on his historic experience. Oh, so you could actually use this phone and hear somebody speak in African. Hmm. Hmm, <clears throat> it's great. I hope you guys are really enjoying this. This is actually Simon Eben Baldwin, 1840 to 1927, the son of Roger Sherman Baldwin. Hmm, well, you guys can read that later. <clears throat> Again, this is the Amistad Legacy. Look at this beautiful painting. Is this a beautiful painting or what? Let me back up so you guys can see all of it. Again, this is the New Haven Museum and this is the Amistad Exhibition. Yeah, man. Look what we have here. I believe this is a, a letter. Yeah, an actual letter. Wow. Here we go right here. This is a letter from John Quincy Adams to Lewis Tappan, 1841. Again, a letter from John Quincy Adams. The actual handwriting, gangster. This is definitely gangster here, man. Here's another letter. Wow, the museum is crazy. I wasn't aware they had this place here. And this is what? A letter from Kale to Miss Chamberlain. February 7th, 1841. February 7th, when Big Pun passed, huh? Isn't that crazy? I hope you guys are enjoying this. Again, this is the Amistad exhibition in the Museum of Connecticut. Look at this room. Exquisite, exquisite, exquisite. And I have the whole place to myself. We balling right now. Wow. Look at us over here. The actual teapots. We have actual teapots. Gangsta. I don't know about you guys, but I'm stoked. The actual, you know, utensils that they would use on the ship. I was hundreds of years old. Look at the little salt and peppers. Wow. Look at this here. I hope you guys are enjoying it, man. Again, this is the Amistad exhibition. This is actually the plateware that they had. I guess this is their china, huh? This is their china from back then. Okay. This is a very beautiful place here. Here goes some more, uh, some more stuff. Look at this. Look at the jug. That's where they kept the Dom Perignon at. <laughs> Rock with your boy. We in the yard. Mm. We in the yard right now. I guess this room is closed off. I don't think they allow us to come in here. But you guys can see what's going on. Very nice. 
again, it's my birthday, and this is how I choose to celebrate it. You know, I'm at the museum looking at the Amistad exhibition. I know not everybody's going to enjoy this, but to those that do, enjoy. Guys, is there a second floor they were saying? How do I get up there? You guys know? I can't see too well. Okay. Thanks. Excuse me, you said there was an upstairs? Yeah, this is also the beginning of New Haven, and then upstairs is more modern and contemporary. This is the beginning of New Haven? Yeah, downstairs is... 1638, right? Yeah, downstairs ah. is the very beginnings of New Haven. This is a good to yes. look at, right? Yep. Okay. Now we're going into the beginning of New Haven. New Haven, Connecticut is actually one of the oldest cities in the United States. I believe it was uh, 1638, there it goes right there. The Bur Puritan Village. Rock with your boy, we in the yard. And this right here, I really enjoy old stuff. Uh, what I have on my bucket list is I would like to go to Mexico and visit the Temple of the Sun. I would also like to go to Iraq, the original Mesopotamia, and see the artifacts of the Anunnaki. <clears throat> Again, now we're looking at the beginning of New Haven. Look at this, colonial town, 1690 to 1800. Mm, look at this over here, guys. The China cabinet. I thought Puerto Ricans invented the China cabinet. <laughs> That's what my mother told me. Look at all the China. Again, this China is from 1638. 1638, my people. That's crazy. this oh, no. okay enjoy my people enjoy enlightenment is a great thing who's this look at this artist unknown his excellency George Washington huh this is an actual sketch of the gangster, the original gangster, George Washington, hmm? Your boy G-Dub. I heard he was from the Bronx. Nah, I'm just kidding, he ain't from the Bronx. <clears throat> What's this here? Chest of drawers of Amos Bailey. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. It says, please don't touch. We're going to respect. We're not going to touch it. This is the green. Look at the green. One of my favorite parks in the 1800s. The green. In the 1800s. This is the industrial city. Look at this from actually then, the rates of toll. Every traveling four wheel pleasure carriage, carriage drawn by horse. Hmm. This is great. I'm having a great time. 
What's this over here? Mm, I'm sure it has some meaning to it. This guy looks familiar. I think he was with me in Auburn. <laughs> you guys know I got the crazy personality. Don't mind me, just being me. This is the Daily Canal boat line, okay. New Haven and Northampton Daily Canal boat line. Steamboat to Cheapside, okay. Who's this guy over here? This is actually who? Charles Goodyear, okay. Could that be related to the official Goodyear? What's this over here? It looks interesting, it looks old. Whatever it is, it looks old. Again, it's your boy C Rock LD celebrating my birthday in the museum. Wow, look at this here actual model of the ship, the Constitution. Mmm. I would never think that I would spend my birthday in a museum. That just goes to show you how people change. Mm, I wonder what's this over here. Let's take a look over here. What actually is this? The water-powered milling machine was used to file metal gun parts at the Whitney Armory. Okay. So this is what they used to make the original burners with. The Glock, the Gats. The the stick, <laughs> that's what you guys call it now, the stick, huh? Wow. This looks familiar over here. Let's see what this is. Manufactured by Eli Whitney in 1803. The cotton gin, oh my God, the cotton gin. Gangsta. The cotton gin, invented by your boy, Eli Whitney. He was from Spanish Harlem. <laughs> I'm only kidding. You guys know Eli Whitney was not from you no know, damn Spanish Harlem. What's this over here? This is, uh, this is one of five Eli Whitney models made before 1800. Wow, look at this. There's some old stuff here, buddies. Definitely some old stuff. Let's go upstairs, see what's upstairs. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't see this. Look at this over here. No way, the first Schwinn, look at this, my people. Is this bike crazy? I never seen one in person. Only in pictures. <clears throat> this is crazy. I believe this was the original bike, huh? How the heck did you get your butt up there? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Okay, let's go upstairs and see what we rocking upstairs. What's this over here? Look at this, the Bentley. <laughs> Look at this. Hmm. I hope you guys are enjoying this, man, as much as I am. Look at this, the buses. This is uh, Chapel Street from 1950. The Roger Studio Collection, okay? This is what we was rocking with in the 1950s. I told you, man, my bucket, on my bucket list is I want to go to Mexico and uh, see the Sun Pyramid. I definitely want to see some pyramids before I kick the bucket. Your 
boy G dub. Hmm? Look at this. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's go upstairs and see what's cracking upstairs. Again, your boy C Rock LD. Today is my birthday. Happy birthday to me. And instead of being in a club, a bar, or a strip joint, I'm spending it in the museum. Rock with your boy. We in the yard. You guys is enjoying it. Hmm. Signs of the time. What's this over here? I guess this was the factory, the Industrial Revolution. For those that know, know. I'm not really too big into this. Nah. I was more into the Amistad and stuff like that. Let's see what's cracking over here. This is actually the Brick and Wood International Cafe. Okay. That guitar belonged to Michael Jackson. Ah, I'm just messing with y'all. I have no idea who the heck that guitar belongs to. Again, I hope you guys is enjoying this with me. It would be nice if I had a good woman to share this with. This is the type of thing my future wife has to be uh, into, man. You know, when you have no one to enjoy it with you, you enjoy it by yourself. I have no problem being by myself. It would be nice to have a, a good woman, though. What's this over here? I think this is pretty much it, guys. What's this? The Vietnam Memorial Committee Office. What's this over here? Marine time, huh? What's this? Record, record of the sea service of Charles, whatever, whatever towns had. Okay. I guess he was somebody important. This is interesting. Hmm. The nineteen seventeen Roly. Ah, we got the Roly. Look at this over here. The New Haven Dairy Ice Cream Cone. Five cents. You remember when the ice cream cones was five cents? I sure as hell don't. This over here. Mm. These are the guys that actually built America. America was built by guys like these men, the visionaries of daytime. The visionaries of daytime. 
New York, New Haven, and Hartford. Okay. Is this it? I think this is pretty much it, guys. I want to thank you. I hope you enjoyed my little video. Again, it's your boy, C Rock LD. Let me see something. Again, it's your boy, C Rock LD, enjoying his birthday at the New Haven Museum. Mm. Sure. They want the mask on. Mm. Okay, guys, this was it. I hope you enjoyed it. A little 26 minutes of the museum. Uh, and that's all, folks. Bye-bye. I hope you enjoyed it. Charlie Rock LD, Prison Mentality, slash, Reppin' the Real. Rock with your boy. We in the yard.